it's time to publish. You've entered a game jam, have a prototype, or finished a game, and now we need to get this thing on itch.io. To publish our VR games to itch, we need to start off by making sure we have the right modules installed for the platforms that we're trying to deploy to. So in Unity Hub, just make sure you check out what version your game that you're trying to build for is. So mine's 2021.3.8F1. I go to installs, go over here, click the cog, and since I'm doing a build for both PC and the Quest, I want to make sure that I have all these installed. This is for the Quest, the Android build support, OpenJDK, and also Android SDK. And then also we want to make sure we have Windows build support. And yeah, that is it for that. Let's open up our project and get to building. Now with our project open, I want to make sure that I have a few things checked off. I, I like to do a double check here because you don't want to mess this up. It's really annoying to have to republish everything. Uh, starting off, I want to go over to XR plugin management and make sure I have the right things for controller setup here. So here I have the PC selected. I am using OpenXR over on Android. I'm also using OpenXR. And then if we come down to here with OpenXR, we just want to make sure we have the right controller profiles for the headsets that we're targeting. So here, uh, HTC Vive, Oculus, and Valve is what I'm targeting for PC. And if you don't have it, you just hit this plus sign and can add one of those profiles. And then for Android, I am just targeting the Quest. So Oculus Touch Control Profile will work there. And there you go. We've done our double check. Next, let's go over some custom settings we can have just so our game displays correctly when people are playing it or installing it. If we go over to player, we come over here, you can put your company name in, uh, you can put the product name in, version, so what version you're on, so you can keep track of that, which do that, that's important. We can have our default icon, so if you want to add your own little icon so people know what it looks like when they have a shortcut on their home screen. And then we have a few settings down here, both again, PC and Android that we can go over. If we expand this out, you can see we have different icons for different sizes if you wanted to play with that and we also have resolution presentation full screen okay splash this is what shows up when we are trying to load into the game and you usually see that unit like made with unity screen unless you paid for the premium version of unity but we also have if you want that splash screen of your logo you can do that right here virtual reality splash image so if you load into you walk about golf you know you see mighty coconut pops up this is where you would do that and then there is a few other settings that we can go over you can optimize these settings the quest actually has specific settings they say you might want to consider this is on the, the pc side so you want to go over to the android side and make sure you do all those custom settings there and i would go over them and find detail here but i already made a video about optimizing for the quest so please check that out and this i'm just going to make sure that we have come down here and we are targeting the right android builds where are we looking for minimum api level you just want to make sure that this is set to 10 and then the target api level is set to automatic now we can spend a ton of time going over and customizing things like icons and versions and whatnot but for now, this tutorial, it's time to get building. So starting off, I'm going to do our PC build. To do that, we're going to go over to File, Build Settings, and then come down to here. And one thing I want to make sure that we do is we have all the scenes that we need in this. So let's say, oops, let me get rid of this one. Let's say we wanted to add our open scene here. So this is the main scene. But if we had other additional scenes, like this was the title screen, and then we wanted to move over to different ones, we want to make sure we add it. We just click and drag this this scene into here. And so now we can have our scenes lined up and the one that you put on top or at position zero is gonna be the one that loads first. So if you have a title screen, just make sure that that is in position zero. And for the build, we wanna make sure that we are set to windows and yeah, let's get to building. So if we hit build, it's gonna pop up this window and ask where we want to save the build. And I don't have a folder for it and I like to keep things a little organized. So I'm going to go ahead and make a build folder and then I'm gonna open that up and go even further. I'm gonna say this is the PC build folder where I want to save it. Select that folder and it will build it up. Now, once it is finished building, it's going to open up the folder for you. You can see if I go in here, this is all the files it's generated. And we still have one more thing we need to do before our PC builds ready. We have to select all these files, right click it, and then compress it to a zip file. And again, I'm just going to name this uh, VR Sickness Lab PC Build. Cool. And that is our PC build. Let's move on and do our Android slash MetaQuest build. 
So to do the Android build, we just have to click this. We need to switch the platform and it's gonna take a hot minute for this to go through and process. All right, and now that it's loaded, texture compression should be set to ASTC if you've watched my optimization for the MetaQuest video. Again, give that a shot. But yeah, besides that, this looks like it's ready to go. I'm gonna hit build again. I'm gonna go into my builds folder and I'm gonna create a new folder called Android build. Select this and get building. Oh, need a file name. Cool, and the build's finished. And you see we have this .apk file. We don't have to zip things up. This is all we're gonna need for our Android build. And yeah, let's move on to getting this bad boy on itch now that we have both the PC and Android build. And now this is itch.io. If you haven't created an account, you just, well, create an account and come over here and go to upload new project. And this is just gonna be the beginning dashboard for us. You can create a title. We can also give it a URL, but it auto generates. So if you want to change this, you can change it to whatever you want it to be. We can upload a cover photo, screenshots, gameplay trailers, but really we're all trying to do here right now is just upload the game. So if you come down here, go to upload files and you'll see that it is already linked up to what I need. I'm going to start with the Android build. I'm just going to select that APK file, load it in really quick. And then I'm going to make sure and check this for Android so people know what it's for. And and then I'm also going to grab the PC build, which remember is going to be the zipped file. Open that up and click Windows. And that is it. With that, the game is uploaded and you can now customize the description, describe what the game is, and then also come up here, add some tags. Don't skip on the marketing. You want to draw people in to play your game, try it out and tell you what's good and what's not good about it. But I'm not gonna cover all the marketing stuff here. Just wanted to teach you all how to upload your game onto itch.io. If you want, I'm gonna put some resources down in the description below about how you can customize, what are the best practices to use, and also I'm gonna provide a link to a Reddit post that I found that shows you some of the cooler game pages that people have created on itch.io. I hope you found it all useful. Likes and subscribes are the best way to support me at this moment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!